All right, y'all. So I just left visiting Jesus. Now I'm in the car with my mama. Say hi, mama. Look at her over there looking like she in a neck brace. <laughs> so we gonna get these ingredients and today Kaylin Reacts is going to try this gentrified cornbread. So stay tuned as I take you on this journey to see and answer the question, is it good? <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm here in the grocery store and I'm getting the ingredients for the recipe. Now, of course, I had to drive all the way out here to where the white rich people live because I live with the black folks and we don't have all them bougie ingredients in our grocery stores. We got the simple things, pop, water, and bread, okay? So, I hope this is worth it because I just used $10 worth of gas to get all the way out here, so stay tuned. All right, so I guess the first thing I should go get is the corn since that is the most essential ingredient. Mama, do you know where I can find these chilies at? Kayla, I was gonna come down here and act like I didn't know you. And now that you're talking to me, now I gotta act like you're my son. What? I know they don't think I'm paying $10 for some syrup. Absolutely, now we gonna come right over here and get what I know, Aunt Jemima, thank you very much. Don't buy this toilet tissue anymore. Don't never buy that toilet tissue. Why? because it's hard on your booty. <laughs> now I just came over here to get this cornmeal. My mama come over here talking about, well you need to know what kind of cornmeal it is. So I look at the recipe, it ain't on specify. Y'all, they got all types of different cornmeal on here. Yellow, white, all different kinds. But she told me, because she black and she done made cornbread from scratch before, she told me you supposed to get the white cornmeal. Well, I come over here and look what they got, y'all. Ain't Jemima cornmeal mix, so we're gonna try and blacken this up a little bit, okay? We're not gonna gentrify it too much. All right, y'all. So I just got home. I got all my ingredients laid out. I got the stove on, the oven is preheating, and we're about to make this gentrified cornbread. Let's go. All right, y'all. So. We about to try this cornbread. There's a lot of stuff in this cornbread that I don't necessarily eat, okay? But pray for me. Okay, so our first contender is the maple bacon cornbread. This has got black stuff in it. Oh, that's the bacon. <laughs> it's a little salty, though. It's not good cornbread, but it, it's okay. Now it's time for the Mexican version. Or what they like to call street corn. Whatever the hell that is. I still don't know what street corn is. So this one has cotilla. I'm guessing that's how you say that. Because it's got a J in it and it's Mexican. Or maybe it's cotilla. I don't know. I only took four years of Spanish. Oh Jesus. My spirit is heavy y'all. I don't eat none of that shit on here. Jesus. Mmm. <sighs> I can never go on fear factor. Oh my god. This is nasty. Okay. Mm. This is dry. Child, this is like a Popeye's biscuit. It's about to make me choke. It's too big of a bite. Mm. Mm -mm. Hold my mule cheese. Okay, this one has... Shit, which one is this one? The chipotle cheddar. I see the, the chili in here. Mm. I don't like chilies either. Oh, my God. My God. Oh, I should have prayed before this. Oh, this is hot! Oh, this is hot! Oh, 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 my mouth. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why would somebody eat this? <sighs> oh, good God almighty. Absolutely not. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Oh, my mouth. Oh, my mouth. Oh, my mouth. Ooh. <sighs> oh, Jesus. <coughs> no. Who is eating this stuff? Now it's time for the caramelized onion. Now, listen, y'all, I don't like onions. Mm -hmm. Hmm, this one ain't too bad. Remember, I don't even like, uh, I don't like onions. It's dry. You don't want none of this. I'm about to go throw up, because that was probably the nastiest stuff that I've ever eaten in my whole entire life. Thank y'all. Have a good night. <laughs> 